Hello everyone, my name is Arun Prakash and in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open up the After Effects. Create new composition and name something like main comp. And I'm gonna keep the composition as 1920 by 1080p and hit OK. And go to the project window and create a folder, name it as footage. And import the footages which you want to edit to that footages folder. Since I have proxy footage, so I am going to link the proxy for that. After that, drag the file to timeline. And after that, hit Ctrl Y on your keyboard to get the new solid and name it as mask. And keep all the settings to default and hit OK. Select the mask layer and hit T on your keyboard. And bring back the opacity down to 20. And now what you are gonna do is select pen tool. Select the mask and draw a mask around the mobile. And you can always download this wallpaper from Google. Just type tracking markers and you will get the picture and you can set it as wallpaper and then shoot the video. Select the mask and press M on your keyboard and click the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. And go one second further and create the mask and go on creating mask after one one second and I'm gonna pass forward this process And when you are done, select the mask and press invert. And press T and bring back the opacity to 100. Just play back once and make sure that the mask is covering whole screen, leaving the mobile portion. After that, select both the layers, right click, pre-compose and name it as video and click OK. And now select the video composition, right click drag and stabilize and drag camera and now what it's gonna do is track your motion and create the keyframes according to that when the tracking is done you will get some kind of points which will help us to build the plane over there so select the points and right click on them and select create solid and camera and you will get a plane which will be sticking to the mobile screen. After that, create a new composition by clicking composition, new composition and select the aspect ratio as per your mobile screen. In my case, the width is 640 and height is 1136 and set the duration to 10 seconds and press OK. And in this composition, we are going to create a shape layer by double clicking on rectangle, keeping fill to white and no stroke, and bring back the opacity down to 10%. And create one more shape layer by double clicking on rectangle and no fill, and stroke width will be 5 pixels. And select the both layers and pre comp it and name it as glass screen. And now, we are gonna create one more shape layer by double clicking on rectangle tool and in this case fill will be black and no stroke and this will help us to create the black skin for the mobile and now copy the top shape layer by pressing ctrl c on your keyboard and paste it in main comp by pressing ctrl v and now parent the shape layer to track solid and convert the shape layer to 3d layer by pressing enable 3d 
and select the shape layer, press S on keyboard, scale it down to cover the mobile screen and hide the track solid layer. And adjust the position and scale of the layer by changing the position of the track solid. Something like this. And now select the track solid and 3D camera and take it back to down. And now duplicate the shape layer by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. And now press toggle switches and make the video to alpha inverted matter shape layer. So that we can make the display transparent. And now go to comp, copy the glass screen and paste it into main comp and parent it to shape layer 2 and convert it into 3D layer. Now select the glass screen, hit P on keyboard to open up the position and change Z axis to minus 100 so that we can create an illusion that the glass is floating on the screen. And here I have taken some screenshots and screen recordings. Let's import those to project window. Once importing is done, drag all the footages to comp2 and change the comp name to screen. And select the top layer and pre-comp it and name it to music. And here I am changing the position so that I can hide the screen recording bound. And once you are done, go back to screen comp and select the next layer and do the same. And here I have a music player screenshot. For this, I am going to mask it out by clicking the rectangle tool and creating a rectangle around it. And here I have one more screenshot, so I am gonna do the same just to reveal the time. Now select all the screenshots and screen recording layers and copy and paste it on the main com and parent all the layers to shape layer 2 by pressing and holding the shift key on your keyboard and convert all the layers to 3D. And now we are positioning this Instagram layer to the middle by changing the horizontal and vertical position to 0 and scaling it down to 100%. And now select the music layer and change the X position to minus 750 and change the calendar layer position to plus 750. Now go to anchor point selection tool and change the anchor point to the edge like this by pressing and holding ctrl key on your keyboard and do the same for another one and now select both the layers and press R on your keyboard to open up the rotations now rotate both the layers at y axis at 30 degree and minus 30 degree and now select the music tile layer and change the position on y axis to around 1200 and open up the music tile comp and align the layer to bottom of the comp like that and we are going to do the same for instagram layer but instead of aligning bottom we are aligning at the top and now go back to the main comp and select the music tile and change the anchor point to the bottom edge like that and changing the rotation of the x axis to 30 degree. And now select the Instagram layer and change the position of the y axis to minus 1200. And shift the anchor point to the top edge. Now select all 5 layers and open up the position by pressing P and change the z axis to minus 100 one by one. 
now change the layer mode from normal to lighter for all file layers. And now import any picture of the galaxy or sky to the project panel and add just below the video comment. And present this picture to shape layer 2 by pressing and holding shift and convert this layer to 3D and scale it up a bit and change the position of the layer by changing Z axis to plus 300 and now we are creating stars around it so create new solid and go to effects and presets go to simulate and double click on CC particle world and go to effects and control panel go to particle and change the particle type from line to faded sphere and change the birth color and death color to white and increase the maximum opacity to 100% and also increase the size variation to 100% I am changing the birth size and death size to 0.1 and change the longevity to 20 and birth rate to 30. And now go to physics and change the velocity and gravity to 0. And now go to producer and change the x and y and z radius to all the way across the composition. And go back to particle and change the death rate to 0.5. And now go to the 4 second in the timeline, press the stopwatch icon on the birth rate and go one frame further by pressing right arrow key on keyboard and change the birth rate to 0. And now drag the stars layer all the way back to the timeline and extend that layer all the way to the end of the timeline and now duplicate the layer by pressing ctrl D on your keyboard and bring that layer just below the video layer and select the top solid layer and change its birth rate to 5 and now let's export this composition and now go to files click export and select add to adobe media encoder and it will add to adobe media encoder and select the file type to h.264 and select the maximum bitrate quality and click the play icon to start rendering the video and there you go you just learned augmented reality type effect in adobe after effect without any plugins and thank you for watching please like this video and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video